Well, today was certainly a gloomy day, but at least temperatures were a little bit more on the milder side. Where we should be for this time of year is around 29 to 30 degrees, but we saw temperatures well into the 30s today, and they're still holding steady in the lower to mid 30s. They're really not going to be changing too much as we head through the overnight. So most locations will generally be right at or slightly above that freezing mark of 32 degrees. You can see those temperatures here and rather quiet conditions on the Bay City Skynet. We're seeing a lot of the snow activity is starting to come to an end. However, it's still possible we could see a few isolated flurries in some spots as we head through the overnight. And I'll explain in just a minute, but you can see a lot of that activity breaking up. Portions of the thumb, you still have a little bit of snow activity heading your way right around Caseville. But again, a lot of this continuing to break up. It's all been thanks to an area of low pressure that's continuing to move to the east. It's been sitting to our north and east. And you can still see some wrap around very isolated precipitation. So it is still possible we could see some light flurries mixed in there moving into Michigan. But that's really all we're going to be seeing through the overnight, even into the early portions of your Sunday before we see a little bit of a better chance for some snow activity, mainly through the afternoon. So let's get right to the future cast. Things they're quieting down as we head through the overnight. Just some isolated flurries are possible. Not everyone's going to be seeing this, so we're not expecting any slick roads by the time you head out the door tomorrow morning. No additional snowfall. It looks rather dry as we head into your Sunday morning. Again, maybe a flurry or two is possible in a few locations, but we'll start to see a little bit more of the activity after lunchtime, afternoon. That's when we'll start to see a few more snow showers filling in around mid-Michigan. But again, it'll be broken enough that not every location will see it. You can see some darker purple here over the thumb. You might see just a little bit more activity as we head through your Sunday afternoon. But a lot of this activity quiets between about 10 and 11 o'clock tomorrow night. So we're really not expecting any of this to carry over into your Monday. The Monday morning commute, that's looking fine. Just holding on to mostly cloudy skies. Precipitation wise, uh, we might see about a trace to an inch in most locations, possibly over the thumb where we saw some of the darker purple. You could see anywhere from about an inch to two inches of snow. But overall tomorrow again, mainly starting off on the drier side, a few isolated flurries possible, more of that activity picking up as we head through the afternoon. Look at those temperatures though, well above the average. So we're gonna be staying with them generally in the mid 30s. So not too bad as we head into your Sunday. Again, holding on to mostly cloudy skies and mainly looking at those snow showers as we head into the afternoon. It's going to be a bit on the breezier side as well. Now I mentioned snow totals generally through the afternoon and evening, a trace to an inch in most locations. The thumb you might pick up just a little bit more. I think at most up to about two inches. And then we will be continuing to see some above average temperatures. Again, the average where we should be for this time of year is 30 degrees, 29, 30 degrees. You can see we're going to be well above that as we head through the week. Wednesday, that's going to be the closest to the average, about 33 degrees, the coolest day, but overall it's a rather quiet week. Yes, we've got that snow tomorrow. It's not going to accumulate to much. We could see some flurries on Tuesday and then it looks like we're again rather quiet. Friday though looks to be a little bit of a better chance for some snow that will linger into Saturday. So nothing that's going to impact your plans unless you're trying to ski or snowboard or enjoy some winter stuff. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm not complaining and we're going to be holding on to some mild temperatures, so loving it. All right, cool.